President Trump says he is strongly considering a pardon for former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Flynn pleaded guilty to one count of making false statements to the FBI. In court documents, the special counsel said his lies had a material impact on the FBI's investigation into any links or coordination between Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russia. In a tweet, the president claimed lost records related to the former national security advisor. A federal judge last month indefinitely postponed his sentence. Flynn has uh, also moved to withdraw his guilty plea, saying federal prosecutors acted in bad faith. The president is really continuing with his own uh, hyper-partisan uh, combativeness on Twitter. Uh, he is, uh, for one, uh, in, talking about the possibility of pardoning his former national security advisor, uh, Michael Flynn, accusing the Justice Department of having lost uh, a memo relevant to Flynn's case. Here you had a president of the United States today, Chris, in the middle of this pandemic crisis globally. What is he doing? He's tweeting about Hillary's emails. He's Hillary. He's tweeting against Chuck Schumer. And he's saying, I may give a pardon to Michael Flynn. The world is worried to death today. And now the Justice Department is saying that he deserves up to six months in prison for lying to federal investigators. And you'll remind, I'll just remind everybody and myself, too. He lied about the nature of his discussions on the heels of President Trump's election uh, discussions with the Russians. The FBI knew that the Steele dossier uh, was fraudulent, unverified. They knew Michael Flynn was not an agent of Russia. And yet, the American public was kept in the dark for at least two years. I believe the Department of Justice is withholding a lot of information, as is Mr. Clapper, Mr. Brennan, and all of, pe all of the people who participated in the complete setup of General Michael Flynn. You know, we have found additional text messages that the government suppressed, including one where Agent Strzok indicates he knows it's a pretext to go interview General Flynn. Confirmation that the FBI investigation of Mike Flynn began earlier than previously reported blindsided his family. Joe Flynn says it's evidence of a long-running, high-level effort to, quote, trip up and trap his brother, as a federal judge orders the release of more secret documents growing calls for Attorney General William Barr's resignation. This comes after Barr ordered a review in the criminal case of President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn. He and the DOJ act independently. He has been accused of carrying water for President Trump by launching investigations just to please the president. Sources say that this is another example of Attorney General Barr politicizing cases involving close associates of the president. 